I have a story, strange but true, that I would like to share with you. I set the stage to begin my show in Athens, Greece, so long ago. Now let me take you back in time where a duke named Theseus was in his prime. The duke ruled Athens and was top in command. He governed his people with a firm, steady hand. A queen named Apollo would soon share his life. In just four days, they'd be husband and wife. Throughout this great city, the excitement grew. A huge feast was proposed, entertainment too. These arrangements were made with a feverish rate. But the busyness of governing would not wait. A man named Aegeus burst into the room. His face was furrowed with furry and gloom. His daughter Her Hermia felt the strain. She knew her father was there to complain. A young lad Lysander followed behind. Passionate love thoughts enveloped his mind. He cherished dear Hermia, that was clear. So did Demetrius, who brought up the rear. His daughter won't marry the one he decided. Demetrius is the mate he chose. She wants to be Lysander's wife. He won't allow it, not on his life. This is the last straw. I come to beg the power of the law. She must do what he says and listen to him or prepare to die. I despise Demetrius. I am devoted to a handsome Lysander. This love of my heart cannot be swayed. To marry another would be a charade. He said there's no choice. You'll forfeit your life. This law I defy. I become a nun. I'll even die. I'm as rich as Demetrius and as well born. Hermia's love for me you must not scorn. And furthermore, I wish to say, Demetrius loved Helena until yesterday. He courted the lady and won her soul. I tell you, Demetrius has no self-control. <laughs> Don't cry. Your tears I will soothe. For the course of love never did run smooth. An aunt of mine lives seven leagues away. We could go to her place without delay. She has no children, not even one. She loves me as though I was her son. There we shall marry and end the sorrow. Run away with me at twilight tomorrow. I will not fail, Lysander. I vow by Cupid's bow. Tomorrow night I'll be ready to go. We'll meet in the forest, and then to darkness we'll disappear. Together, my dear, we both shall flee, and at your aunt's home I'll marry thee. My sweet Lysander, I will no longer grieve. Hermia, Demetrius is my life, but he dotes on you. I'll never be his wife. Oh, teach me, Hermia. Tell me what to do, if only I was as beautiful as you. Dear Helena, don't cry. I guarantee I can't stand your guy. I'll tell you, dear friend, what's on your mind. We're running away tomorrow night. It's the only way to solve our plight. Demetrius loves Hermia. That This is far more than I can bear. How can I get him to love me instead? I'll tell Demetrius about their little scheme, and he'll thank me for sure. We'd better begin. A play's been requested for Theseus and his bride. We haven't much time. Their wedding is soon, so we shall act, have to act fast. Now listen as I read out the names of the cast. Nick Bottom, the weaver, your role is to be Pyramus, a lover as you will soon see, a lover more gallant that kills himself for love. A lover? It's such a great part. I'll give the ladies a change of heart. I'll have them all in showers of tears. They'll remember my acting for many years. My pyramus will be hard to resist. But proceed, dear Quince. Go on with the list. You'll take this bee's role. I want you to give it your heart and soul. What is this bee, a wandering knight? Oh, no. This bee is a she, and madly in love with pyramus. I'll not play a woman. Can't you see I've started a beard? I'll be Thisbe. I'll be the girl as well as the boy. I can speak it like a lady. I'll be sweet and dove. Oh, Pyramus, you are my love. It'll take me quite a, lo a while to learn, for I am slow to study. I implore. Don't worry. All you do is roar. That fearsome beast I could be. I'd growl so loud they would never complain. They'd beg me to do it again and again. Roar! I told you, I'm much better than him. You'll scare the ladies. What's That's wrong. Then I will roar as soft as a nightingale's song. Roar, roar. I know the woman will love my technique. Your pyramus, that ends the debate. Any more talk of this, I will not tolerate. We'll meet in wood tomorrow night and rehearse our play by moon's silver light. And if, and if they look closely and listen with care they have heard rustling in bushes out there perhaps they've had a shimmer of wings and may other magical things for into dark woods humans took flight the fairies had reveals far into the night oberon was king of the fairy land and little sprites jumped into his command but for fairies too life's not always serene oberon had quarrelled with titania his queen i met by moonlight proud titania why are you here? All you do is argue and complain. Since the start of midsummer, we've had this feud. It's put all of nature in an angry mood. 
Then change it. You have the cure. Your stubbornness I'll not endure. Fill your Oberon's heart with joy. I do but beg your servant boy. Come now, Titania. It's my only request. He'll be my helper and we'll end this unrest. It's not that easy to end our dispute. You don't seem to comprehend. This boy is the son of a very good friend. She was in the service, but alas, she was human and had to die. I promised her I'd raise her son at the fairy land buys, not the child of me. Come hither, my elves. Away we shall flee. I'll get my revenge, but I'll need some help to change my bad luck. I need you to find an unusual flower. I am in frantic need of its magical powers. It's called love in idleness, my little sprite. It's purple in color, though it used to be white. When sleeping eyes are touched by its juice, a powerful love potion is set loose. I'll repay my queen. I'll observe her sleep in the forest green, then drop the nectar into her eyes. When Titania awakes, she'll have a surprise. The next thing she'll see, be it bull, wolf, or bear, she will suddenly feel a love more rare. I will not cancel this magical spell. Till she gives me the boy, then all will be well. This flower I'll find, I can do it so fast, it will boggle your mind. I'll search everywhere and try hard to please. I pray you, my darling, change your mind. I have to you my love unfurled, for you, Demetrius, are my world. I reported their plan, I did my part. I beg you now, give me your heart. Out of my life, leave me alone. I told you before, you make me ill. I love Hermia and I always will. He will change his mind. It's Hermia I must find. This shameful conduct just won't do. I'll use the flower on this lad, too. When young man awakes, he'll see Helena's face, and it will be her he would want to embrace. When Puck returns, we'll make everything right. Welcome, Ronderer. Well done. We'll do our tricks one by one. I know a bank where the wind theme blows, where Ocalypse's naughty and violet grows. There sleeps Titania some time of the night, lured in these flowers with dances and delight. I'll meet Titania. For our rendezvous, this juice will make all my dreams come true. And you, my Conrad, must find the youth who gone stark raving mad. The lady he scorns follows close behind. You must give this Demetrius a change of mind. Take some of this juice and anoint his eyes. But make sure Helena's the first he spies. You'll know the lad by th his Astenian clothes. Come back before the rest they make will cause Demetrius to wake. Then... Helena, I worship you so. You mock me. I told you to go. Oh, Helena Divine, tell me you love me. Just give me a sign. Marry me, please. The two of you are acting absurd. In fact, abnormal is the word. I'll start the rest of my life. I must have Helena for my wife. It's me she adores. My affection for her is greater than yours. I'll prove it with the blade of my sword. Oh, Spite, I see you are all the best to set against me for your merriment. If you were men as men, you are in show. You would not use a gentle lady so. <gasps> Lysander, where'd you go? Behold, it's an ugly old crow. Is this a dream? It cannot be. It's Helena for me. This is a game you play and really cheap. Ignorous Hermia, I do not contend. You join these men in scorning your poor friend. You thief! You accusation defies belief. Lysander is mine. You stole him by night. You canker blossom, you parasite, you painted maple. You must stop this brawling. This is your mess. You make everything right. Hurry now, Puck, overcast this night. What visions I have seen. In one I dreamt I loved a creature obscene. There he lies, sleeping a wreath of flowers around his head. Loathe this face! How could I have worshipped a creature so base? Get this cod on his feet, return the man's head, send him back to his team, make him think it's all been a dream. I've had a dream so rare, so strange that it's hard to share. I'll have Peter Quince write a song, and I will sing it loud and strong. But now I think I should away to tell my friends and rehearse the play. I'd like to know, were we not rivals a short time ago? I beseech your grace, I am amazing at what took place. It was with Hermia I ran away, for the law of Athens we would not obey. In a dream I loved Helena, but not any more. Hermia's mine as she was before. My love for Hermia has melted away. It is Helena my heart I owe. I decree, instead of one wedding, we'll have three. 
I am the prologue. We don't want the ladies horrified, so I tell you this story blow by blow. What's this, a um, one-man show? Tis the silliest stuff I can recall. Oh, look, here comes the wall. In this play I doth befall, that I on by name present a wall, and such a wall as I would have you think. Pyramus and Thisbe, the lovers in our play, whisper through the wall every day. O oh, sweet, O oh, lovely wall, show me the opening so small. O oh, wall, my moans, my cherry lips have often kissed thy stones. I come to you, Pyramus, without delay. The lantern doth present the moon. I wonder if this be will get there soon. Pyramus, save me! Oh, oh. Is this a dream? Asleep, my love? What, dead, my dove? These lily lips, this cherry nose, this yeekish cheeks, no longer rose. Are gone, are gone, his sword is drawn. Come, trusty blade, my breast in view, and farewell, my friends. Adieu, adieu. We've had a long day, and now to bed we must away. Tis midnight, and bells do chime. Dear friends, it's almost fairy time. If shadows we have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear, and this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentleness, do not repent, if you pardon, you will mend, and as I am honest, Puck, if we have unearned luck, now to scape and serp its tongue, we will make amends ere long else the puck a liar call so good night unto you all give me your hand if we be friends and robin shall restore amends